Hey everyone! So we're really excited this week because we're making pancakes. Okay, so I've got all the ingredients laid out here. So we've got our flour with a pinch of salt in, eggs, milk and oil. Or you can use butter if you melt it. Okay, so this is going to be really easy. I know some people think it's quite a bit hard and you might get lumpy batter and a few problems, but we're going to make it look really easy and it'll be great. Okay, so first of all, we're taking the flour and putting it in. You want a large mixing bowl, plenty of room in it. And then we're just going to push the flour around the side, create a sort of a well, a hole in the middle, like that. Okay. Easy so far. Right, now we're going to take our eggs and we're going to crack the eggs into the middle. All right, this, this could get a little tricky because you want to make sure you don't get shell in with your flour. That, we don't want crunchy pancakes really. So quick tap on the side, and there we go, and the rest of the eggs. So this is a good, good thing for everyone to try, it can be quite, quite amusing. See if you can crack it open in one go, like that. Mm -hmm. Master at work. There we go, sometimes it takes a few knocks. There we go, I've got all the eggs in. Right, and then I'm just going to pour a bit of the milk. I think it's on the recipe, it says, but yeah, it'll say the amount, but just enough to bring it, the liquid level to the top of the flour, like that. And then you get your whisk. So I've got a balloon whisk here, or if you've got an electric whisk, that's great. Um, but a balloon whisk is fine, or a wooden spoon, or even a fork, if you haven't got any of the other um, things. Okay, so starting from the middle, I'm just going to gently whisk it around, get the eggs breaking up. And just gradually, can you see, I'm just starting to incorporate a little bit of the flour. Not all at once, but just a little bit at a time. Gently does it. Gently does it, yeah. I think this is the best way to avoid lumps, I think. So this, this requires a bit of patience. Mm, what's, your, what, what's your preferred topping? What are you going to go for? Topping. Well, we tend to have a range, so I like, <laughs> I do like the traditional lemon and sugar. Uh, I also like maple syrup. Mm. But then, after a few pancakes, I, I get the ice cream out Whoa, steady. and make a bit of chocolate sauce, Whoa, cut up it. a few marshmallows, <laughs> <laughs> and then my final pancake has marshmallows, chocolate sauce and ice cream in, <laughs> Wow! which is a bit more like a full-blown pudding, really. But lemon, lemon and sugar is, is lovely. <laughs> just getting feeling like it's a bit thick you can always just add a little bit more milk not too much um, just to make it a bit easier and can you see the flowers gradually disappearing so that's quite a thick paste at the moment your pancakes would be very thick so Gradually, we can just keep adding the milk. Might need someone else to hold the bowl still. Yeah, at this, this point. could be a two person <laughs> job because you see my, my bowl's moving around a little. Or you can just add a bit more. So, just a bit at a time with the milk. Bits at a time, yeah. And also, before I forget, um, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. I think you've got the amounts in your recipe. I'm not quite sure what this 
how this improved the batter, but uh, I've, often, I've used a Delia Smith recipe for many years, and she uses the oil or melted butter, so that's what I do. There we go, keep whisking, beating. Yes, we're doing quite, quite a lot of batter mixture here. There's only three of us, but uh, this, One is, of this, is our, so. yeah, this is our main meal. So, and yeah, Josh is um, going to be eating quite a lot of pancakes, <laughs> I think. How many would you have on an average pancake day? Well, <clears throat> I like to say <clears throat> three or four. Three of them? <laughs> but, um, but the truth is, I think... I think seven's been my maximum. Really? You've had seven? Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe, oh, yeah, maybe, I the usually pan, reach... maybe the frying pan was small that like year. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I usually reach about seven. I thought you were more like five. But... I think, yeah, yeah, I think, I think it was five. <laughs> right, so can you see? Lovely. Lots of look. bubbles, lots of air in there, and yeah, smooth. No lumps, no lumps, I don't think, in there. Mm. And there we go, that is how you make pancake batter. It's really very easy. Right, okay, so you need your frying pan ready. Um, we've got well, a large one here, <laughs> a smaller one, so I'm going to use a smaller one for now. Um, it, you just obviously have whatever size you, you've got. And I'm going to put a bit of butter in to start with, or you can use a little bit of oil. Um, turn on the gas. So yeah, I've got a piece of kitchen roll um, just to wipe the fat around with, yeah, oil or butter, or could use a, a pastry brush, I suppose. And the trick is, the secret is to get the pan really hot, especially if you want to do a good toss, which we're all going to do, of course. So I'm just rubbing this around the frying pan. So just a bit of grease, you don't want it too greasy. Just a, <clears throat> just a bit of butter. But yeah, you do want it really hot. Right, we'll wait a while for so, it to heat up yeah. then. Because <clears throat> I don't want my pancake to be um, dropping on the floor or coming out in bits. <laughs> so I'm just going to wait for it to get hot. And then you want <clears throat> a ladle, or you could pour the batter into a jug and pour a bit in. It's probably a bit more controlled if you put a ladle full in. No stress. Right, I can see a bit of um, a bit of smoke starting to rise. So I think I think we're going. I think we're going in. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm so you're getting a ladle full. A bit, a bit ladle full. We'll see how we go. You can hear it hissing. All right, so you just want enough that it. Just sort of tilt the pan a little bit so the mixture yeah, kind of work it around. Work it around. So there we go. I might have, this probably won't be the thinnest of pancakes. You can have really thin or very thick, but just so the batter works around evenly. And then you just leave it for hmm, 30 seconds to a minute, sort of medium heat. And then, this is a non-stick pan, so I'm going to be very careful here. I, I could use this, but I'm just going to check underneath. Have a little peek. Have a little peek. Can you see Have it's starting to brown? Yeah. yeah. So very carefully, I'm just going to ease it round, just to make sure it's, it's not going to stick for when I'm doing the flip. Doing, doing the flip. How are the nerves? Well, I, I don't usually flip pancakes in front of the camera, I have, <laughs> have to admit. So, well, I'm just going to give a little... The all-important shake. A little shake. Okay. Right, 
Right. <clears throat> Think we're ready? <laughs> Another little shake. Little shake. Two okay. hands or one hand? Two hands. Uh, two hands. Two hands. Right. Here we go. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh! Whoa! 360! <laughs> You're not meant to do that. That looks though, impressive, right? but I need to cook the other side. So here we go again. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, oh well, nearly, just about. Just about. I, I just need to. Oh yeah, pull it out. Bit out. Pull it out. There we go. There we yeah. go. No one saw anything. So I see good, good colour brown yeah. on the first side. This second side won't need long at all. You don't, you don't want it to, to get hard. So. I'm going to grab my plate like this. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to be ready. So, uh, so I don't do any more flipping. That last the topping done. Just slide it out on the plate. Put the plate. And there we go. Take your toppings on. Happy days. Your toppings. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Delicious. Enjoy.